next part. superintendent has spoken with George and George feels as though the town could manage plowing of the water sewer facility, the treatment plant as well as the well pumps, whatever their town properties are in town, secondary to keeping roads open in exchange for some kind of fiscal compensation. What are you all doing? Currently the superintendent owns a truck with a a simple plow, right. which is insufficient for like the Porter Road, well, which is on the top yeah. of the dirt hill. Right. Well, I was just going to ask, how the heck do you get there? How do you get there? It's just beyond the loop. I know, I know. I but, get but, there. But, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not as steep as it, it, it looks. It goes up gradually. It, oh, okay. We, we regraded the road once already, and it's it's great. It's, because that's the only one that's really up on a, yeah. on, on that kind of situation. The rest of them are. But but we, there are no like wing blades or anything. Mm -hmm. So over the course of a long winter, you can't it's continue to push it. To this, yes, right. exactly. Right. So I'm not asking for you to decide that tonight. By all means, discuss with George. And you know, I thought if you were amenable to the idea, then we could ask drivers to keep track of time on time cards mm -hmm. and maybe build the districts monthly or something like that. What do well, we do with the school district? We do nothing. We, we plow for them, but there is no compensation. But that's for us. Anything. I mean, that's, it, they're on their own entity. As is the school. The only difference is the school serves the whole town, whereas the water sewer no, district only district. serves a portion of the right, town. Right, right. Okay. All right, well, so there's precedence for But also the school is just like the town. It has a budget approved by the town. Versus the district does their only people who vote on that is the district people. So it's kind of different. It is kind of different. It, it has the same town meeting process with, you know, they have a representative on the budget committee and their budget goes through the same process. Mm -hmm. It's just smaller. So for those who aren't in the district or and even those who are and don't pay attention, it's easy to miss that mm -hmm. cycle because mm -hmm. it's tiny mm -hmm. and quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it would be more um, more efficient, at least for for the townspeople that live in the district. Having them purchase a plow that's appropriate for the job is not really cost effective. No, I agree. So I agree. you know, not that that's the greater town's problem, yeah. Yeah. but if you're compensated, then right. the goal would be that it's in that neutral right. okay. position, but you would still have to budget for it. It would, you would receive the equal, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, I think we just need to you can think come about up with some, you know, right. I think we, right, we should, and because it's things, things that we should do, but we certainly need to have, come up with a number okay. where we both can live with, and, and in a plan. So that it stays um, fair on both sides. Exactly. Community input for this evening at this point in the meeting. Alrighty, seeing none.
Lawrence from the city of Dover, where we created his own truck one that I brought you in for a while back. We hired transmission lines and tires. Right. And inspection. Is that inspection for all the trucks now? Yeah, or that's just the one. Just that one. Inspection the other sensor. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's move it and we'll talk about it. Wait. Uh, I'm not going to move anything. You're going to do that. Sorry. Purchase, I moved purchase order 1487 to the city of Dover for truck repairs for $1,041.25. What's it coming out of the, the, the repair line? Yeah, All right. Okay, so that was my question. So it's coming out of the vehicle the main and maintenance line. So there's no issues there. We have uh, sufficient funds to cover. We haven't encumbered any of that money for other things. So that's on top of all the, the money we've moved around. You have that one. What can I find there? Okay. Any other questions? Then? We didn't move any out of that. Line. We didn't move any out of that line. Okay. What was the name of the line again? Vehicle repair and maintenance. Vehicle repair and maintenance. We've spent six and yeah, we have eight, 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 four. And 40 percent spent. Yeah, there's there's a thirty five hundred dollar one more than the speed speed as soon as they get Okay. Five, so. This is through September sixth. Okay. So it looks like we're okay. Okay. We don't have to fix anything else. All right. All those in favor, first order one four eight seven signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have with the three hundred and twenty eight dollars for the oil filters and stuff for the back code that we changed the oil ourselves when we have to buy the filters. Or, okay. And there's also as I said to be replaced on that three hundred and twenty eight for Chad with Bay Ross. Okay. I move purchase order one four eight five Chadwick what is Bay, Bay Ross. Um, for oil filters and hood latch for the backhoe for three twenty eight forty six, and that account is same account. Right, I'll second that. So well, we ha we haven't had any uh, any major issues with the with the backhoe no. since you fixed the. Uh, okay, good, good enough. I can wait for a hydraulic fitting line. We had to replace a few hydraulic lines on it under the maintenance, but. No, we had had some uh, some issues in the past. So I know you had fixed Those something that have been resolved. Been. All right. Perfect. Yeah, this is a lot cheaper than what we usually pay. So, chair with Bay Ross. All right. So, any other questions? Mm -hmm. All those in, purchase, in favor of purchase order one four eight five seven five by saying aye. 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 Opposed. All right. You didn't need to see it, right? It's going now. You look like you're the cat that ate the canary, George. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. What's that? No, I, I, I just want to bring it to your attention. I would like to purchase a paint machine. I don't have to do that this year. I'm just bringing it up. Uh -huh. That's probably uh -huh. good that you don't want to buy it this year. Right, right? <laughs> we need the paint lines at the transfer station. Uh -huh. And there will be some parking lines. But we don't have to get into the parking lines. But I also would like to paint a line on Heritage Drive as a sidewalk to slow these cars down a little bit. And that would save us from probably having to put like a fog line on a, or whatever on What the they do is they'll put a paint a white line yeah. five feet out yeah. and then put a bicycle on it, make it look like a bicycle path, but it's also a sidewalk. And that, I was talking with the, what's we call them, civil, and civil consultants. Uh -huh. um, it's yeah. We just looked at Wentworth Road. Yeah. And they're going to do a white line from what the existing Wentworth Road was up to the uh -huh. sidewalk to, so they're not driving from the wide part of the road. Right, right. It's, it, it, it'll give the people an idea that there's an actual sidewalk. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, it's just so, a thought. And, and that was brought up when we had a public safety meeting. I was going to say, have you talked to the Highway Safety Committee? We brought it up. Uh, ways of 
trying to slow cars down there. They right. see these possible sidewalks, they might think there's people out there. Right. Slow down a little bit. I mean, right. obviously it's only the people who live in that development that's speeding. <laughs> that is probably a true statement. But uh, that was just a thought, just to paint them. Right. You know, instead of paving in the sidewalk, paint is definitely cheaper. Uh, it's, it's but you wouldn't be able to do that with this machine? Yes, yeah, sure. You could, okay. This machine would be take care of any painting we had to do in town other than the main center lines. Okay. If you wanted to do it. Interesting. I, I, I brought it up. I can borrow one of these machines from the Central Housing Authority to do the painting we want to do at the transfer station. Okay. So we can have some direction over there. I mean, it's like a racetrack in there when the people are in there. I haven't have worked there the last couple of Saturdays and seeing what's going on. We need okay. to have some direction and stuff. Uh, and I got prices on paint that's only fifteen dollars a gallon, so okay. but uh it's just some ideas that we right, want to think about it for next year's budget. Right, that's what I want, you know, that's that but I as far as this year I was wondering if we could borrow that machine and you know buy some of the paint that we need to do. Do the transfer station? Sure. Or it's like fifteen dollars or something like that. Well yeah, five but you're buying five gallons at a time, it's fifteen dollars a gallon for okay. uh, traffic safety pay. I don't know how much it's gonna take. That's okay. you know. All right. If it's in. just for the transfer station, then that's important. We might have a few places that you know need some paint, some lines in town while we have a machine, but paint will have. I mean, okay. I, nothing that I'm going to go overboard on. It's just we, mm -hmm. get, we need to get some direction down there. Maybe that's my complaint. We want to be where do we go? Where do we go? So we put lines in there. So when you present your budget to us, you're going to I'm, I'm going to be putting. I'm not going to write it down then. Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to be putting it in. I just want to get an idea what the thoughts are on that, and you know, like I said, I can borrow that right mm -hmm. now. Okay. So you'll need to just come back with us for first sort of paint. Right. And, and again, it'll be probably an after thing because I'm not knowing how much paint. Or actually, what, what's the? Um, uh, maybe the it's seventy-five dollars a so. pail, so it's not going to you know fly down. So it's you'd be able to get quite a bit done. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right. Uh, anything else? Anything? Yeah, I know we decided what's going to be paid on stock mail. That one that we had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're almost done doing shoulders and wood and wood, yeah. uh, woodlands. So. Okay. And Oak Street's going to get uh, paid probably tomorrow night now. Maybe. Depending on the Other rate. nation's going to play a big role in that right. this week. This, this week? Right. They thought last night they had a breakdown, so they went there. So. It'll be sometime this week, the way they talk. Probably not tomorrow night. Considering What's your head count at the transfer station? Did you get anybody? Oh. Nobody. Well, we talked to a few people over the weekend. Uh, there were some people that were thinking about it. Okay. Uh, we're thinking of putting an ad in the paper, a local paper, because I don't think everyone goes on Indeed.com to look for, you know, especially yeah. people that are not looking for work. Mm -hmm. Indeed's right. kind of expensive, too. It might be easier to go to. So, I don't think I'll probably put something in the forces. Alright, well, before you do that, check with the right. how much it's going to cost. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They're expensive, too, but not as bad as Indeed. No, I mean, just... The, one, the, the service that we use is free through Indeed. Oh, so. oh really? Yeah, for oh, wow. Wow. No, we don't. Uh, the cent or one of them, you know, mm -hmm. local papers that that's cheaper. You know. Okay. But, uh, yeah, there's... There's no line knocking the door down, so... Alright. Um, so the, and so you heard uh, the, the conversation about um, plowing down at the... Uh, I did. I, I have spoken with them, and like I told them, I said, we won't be able to do it on a... You know, the road's going to get open first. Right. And we have a lull between, you know, waiting for issues of pass, we can hit it, you know, hit it, push it back. I, I don't right. believe it's a problem. Okay. Uh, but it would be secondary to... Oh, uh, it's definitely not going to be a primary you know, right. And like he said, he can still bust it open if they have to get in there for something. Yeah. What they need to do is push it back. Right. Right. It's way right. Just need to clean it up. Imagine, especially like last year, we got a lot of snow. Yeah. 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 It's going to get pushed pretty narrow, though. Yeah. All right. Do we have anything else before? Uh, I don't know. If, um, I'll, I'll, I'll hang around for a while. I'll okay. get some other traffic safety. Yep. I, don't know if yeah, I see the request of the Highway Safety Committee. Yeah. There. There's a letter in there. Oh, do we, do, so we'll take, I don't see anywhere else on here, so we'll take I'll it wait till that, so in case you have questions for me. Well, it's under highway, so why don't we have this sit right here and we'll see what it's about. Dear board and our recent...
meeting of the Highway Safety Committee, we had a discussion on the existing traffic pattern at the intersection of Church Street and Jesse Doe Road. It appears that many people are confused as to who has the right of way. You can see that. Uh, the issue with the intersection is further compounded by the close proximity of the railroad crossing. As a result, the committee is making the following recommendations to the board for consideration. Placement of a stop sign on Church Street by the direction of the church. Okay. Addition of a painted stop bar with a new stop sign. Uh, repainting of existing stop bars. Okay. So, make sure I'm not, this is not two stop signs, just the one and then the, the bar that goes with it. Okay. We're adding one stop sign, the other one's going to remain on Jesse Doe, so both people are going to stop. Okay. Uh, we certainly believe this will reduce the number of uh, incidents and make the intersection safe to traverse. Okay. It was uh, the recommendation. So, you're on the committee? Yeah. Chief, you're on the committee? I brought it up. Uh, it happened a couple times. We were, we were at the skid steer heading up there, and a car came the other way, and he ended up right in the middle of the railroad track. So that's not a place to be. No. Okay. So if someone has to stop, I'd rather see the car stopping off the track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so did you see the article in the paper about Amtrak is going to be fixing the tracks from one point? to where it ever ends up in Maine somewhere? Oh, really? Well, I and did send, I talked to the dispatcher there a week or so ago about repairing that crossing at Church Street. Uh-huh. And I haven't heard nothing yet, so. Okay. But I wonder if it's part of that. I think it is? Yeah. Bobby it is. thinks it is. No. Well, that's good. All right. So, <laughs> so you've got um, $2,500 for signs. Which includes two thousand dollars to upgrade all the stop signs in town. How are we coming along with that? We, we have a few left that we used all the. the oh, we uh, did. Okay, we put them up then. They're all up. Yeah, we got right. a few that have to be. You know, I'll buy a few stop signs. But okay, so we just don't want anybody. All right. So you have enough. You have enough in there to buy. A, yeah, okay. I got it. I got one stop sign. Uh, are you opposed to uh, the stop sign? No. All right. So maybe we'll do. A, a, well, we have a motion. So. Do you have, I can give a purpose order. Oh, okay. So I'll make, well, I make a motion to we accept the letter submitted and let them do their plan. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor of erecting a stop sign on Church Street, so the five saying aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Five thank you for that. You have to sign it. No, that's not it's to me. Or to us from the chair of the Oh, I'm sorry. That was okay. something that you need to sign. That's all right. We need to do it anyways. All right. Well, then, thank you. Oh. Okay. Fine. See that fine? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Put it up. Probably. All right. Yeah. So, when you're borrowing this machine from the housing authority in Summersworth, are you going to do that line as well, or? All right. I can. All right. Perfect. All right. Anything else for George? Mm -mm. All right. Thank you, George. Thanks, George. Just quickly on the railroad crossing, I received a call last week from one of the contractors who was submitting a bid and they said that they're going to uh, uh, redo the entire crossing there and actually have to shut down that intersection for about 24 hours. Okay. 24 hours to 48 hours. Okay, so. How does that impact the fire trucks? Have to around. You can't. Fit. Well, they fit underneath they the, the small under truck. The trussle. <laughs> Take out the room so they can get under it? <laughs> The uh, their truck should fit, but it's, I think they ought to be looking at it first. If they go under it now, no ladder truck's going to get in there. Oh, oh, they don't, don't, they don't go under that truck. No, so. but, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we should let the... Well, the I'm sure if they'll notify okay. them. Well, once, once it gets closer and... Can that be yeah, sure. let us know. No. Right. Maybe he can park one over right. on that side yeah. of the road or something yeah. temporarily for the yeah. 24 hours or something. Alright. All right. Okay, two purchase orders. The first to Canine Chaos. Purchase order number 1461. Back in August, we had a dog bite in town. The, uh, the owner could not show a proof of a ribby shot. The dog was impounded in Canine Chaos and then subsequently abandoned. So they sent us a bill for $570 for, for the care of the dog. Uh, we are in the process of uh, charging the owner with abandonment. And at that, which we will recoup the money uh, through the court system. Oh, wow. So, first order number 1461 to K9KS, the amount of $570 for a rabies hold. Okay, I move purchase order 
Special Soda ones, 461 for K9, K9 Chaos or 570, and it's going to be under the animal control. Animal section. control, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, animal control fees. For rabies hold. Second. So this would also be another example of um, more reimbursables? Yep. This would be something that. Exactly. I'm trying to think of another example. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sort of I'll look at it. Yeah. So, um, These people abandon their dog. Are we really confident we're going to recoup any of our money, regardless of what the court says? Well, eventually the court will make them one way or the other. It, it may take some time, unfortunately. But yeah. All those in for, favor of purchase order, let's go some more. Uh, one, four, six, one, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I don't know how long do you have to hold it, the dog? Ten days. Ten days. Okay, proposal number 1462 to Wayne Shalou Custom World and Auto Body uh, for $925. The decal and letter are new cruiser, and that will come out of my equipment. I come. That's an anticipated expense. All right, I move purchase order 1462 for Wayne Shalou Custom World. Custom world and auto body. And auto body. <laughs> for detail and lettering for Cruiser 72 for 925. I'll second that. Any discussion? The purchase order of 1462. Make sure this is this time. Mm -hmm. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Miles comes in with some experience on other committees and stuff, so I think it's it's a nice opportunity to feel it out before, you know. 
I know you want them to be able to pursue it. And I There's no, no requirement. I just no, I would no, hope that I, the person would I be would able too, to do that. But, so. you know, um, we can't require people to do that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay with Miles. I'll make a motion that we appoint Miles until the next election. Town election. Well, I know, but oh, that's right. Cause we don't have anything else. Right. Sorry, stuck in, so stuck in the past. I well, will second that motion. You're right. You're yeah, because right. he'll he'll be sitting at the why table. Don't, why don't we say we'll we we'll, we'll, we'll not we'll, we'll nominate Miles Inman to fill the unexpired term the, the unexpired term of Suzanne Hewitt, which would be till the next election, whatever that is. Okay, that's fine. I think it is till the next election, but. Yep. Right, because she was up for like it's sure only until right March away. anyway. It is only until March, but I don't want to like appoint someone to like two days before. So I don't want to screw it up. Yeah. Anyway. So yep. all right. So I'll, I'll second the motion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll let Miles know that he has been appointed and asked the uh, town clerk to swear him in. Maybe so. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, thank you for for putting your your name forward. Um, I understand completely for that your reason. So, consider uh, something else. But I was going to say, if you don't mind if I skip around a little bit on the agenda, we have, and I haven't cleared this with you because we're not allowed to talk out of the meeting um, about these things. We have, um, I don't know if you have any interest in in the Energy Committee. We are, as I am, uh, very serious about wanting to explore um, solar options, whether they're on this, on a building that the town owns or some other asset um, to offset the taxes, to uh, offset taxes, um, to use it as revenue um, one way or another, whether it just offsets the electric bills for the buildings or maybe more money with a larger solar array, I don't know. But we, we, we want the, I would like it, I shouldn't say we most of my pocket, um, would like us to start looking at some those, those options. Is that anything that might interest you? Yes. I would like to continue in public service. I also don't want to pigeonhole you, because you're a buttonhole you rather, because you're sitting here and you said no to the other No, thing, so. I, um, with current things going on in my family, I would rather wait another budget, another election cycle, mm -hmm. and then... I will have a more secured, um, what do I want to say, long-term plan for my children. Mm -hmm. And that was part of my decision. Mm -hmm. And then um, part of it was I already serve on two committees, which I really enjoy. And I don't necessarily want to have to give up those committees or force anybody else off of those committees that might have invested interest in knowledge mm -hmm. that I can't offer. Mm -hmm. So... I am willing to serve, just maybe not in the demanding capacity right. that this board requires. Mm -hmm. well, Denise and I haven't even discussed whether or not she wants to even look at what I've just talked about. So I do, I do. Okay. So well, I think she does. We should, so, yeah, right. I think we should. Um, we should definitely investigate that. I mean, we have to start thinking about what we can do better about our electricity bills and. Yeah. Solar is one of them, and I know nothing about solar, so no, I'll be totally either. honest so, with you. So. so when we get down lower on the uh, further in the agenda, then um, we talk about it kind of like the um, I guess it was, uh, alternative electric sources and SRPC energy aggregation proposal. Um, as part of that, we'll talk about reinstituting this energy committee. But you would be willing to serve on that? I would. Okay. So, all right. Well, we will get to that when we get to that. So, okay. So, we've, we've appointed Miles in. All right. Budgets. Um, town hall maintenance portico has not happened. I apologize. I just haven't done it yet. Um, budget planning. I wanted to leave administrative support on there. Mm -hmm. Take time. Um, only because I don't want to lose sight of it. Um, that will um, play into. Um, I don't think it's on here on the 
agenda. So I think about eight different things going through my head. Um, and I've articulated any of them. Um, Lorraine Hansen's um, ad hoc group there, mm -hmm. uh, the um, town, um, town manager, manager slash admin search mm -hmm. or whatever they call it. Um, in my mind, that that goes hand in hand with that. You know, mm -hmm. what do you do with administrative support if you have this other position, or if you don't have that position, what does it mean? You mm -hmm. know, so I'd like to keep it on. It's just a placeholder. I'm sorry. I guess I could have just simply said I'd like to keep it on as a placeholder. Um, the residence tax. Can we go back to that? Of course we can. Do we sorry. know when she's going to be feeling better enough to have you come and to give her? us a time? She's feeling much better. Right. Is she up to a public hearing that she wanted before it gets too late to do something budgetary? So. Right. I will reach out so. to her tomorrow. Okay. All right. I think she's finishing up the report. Okay. All right. Because she wanted a public hearing. Yes. So yes I would like to did. get that as soon as possible so then we can kind of get the feedback about what direction we take. Unless you want to speak to her. We're friends. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not friends with her. You're closer to her than I am. If you want to talk to her, have her call me. I'll, I'll see her at some point. Oh, tomorrow. you'll see her tomorrow. All right, so I'll just make She'll be note. here all morning tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll make a note of it then. Okay. All right. Anything else we want to say about uh, that? The timeline, we can keep the timeline. I'd keep that Keep the timeline. Well. <laughs> so we don't lose sight of it. We don't lose sight of it. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it, as I said, it's accelerated this time around, but we're, we're, we're okay right now. Um, 2019, uh, the residence tax, mm -hmm. I have, um, no, we have news, um, it has to be decided by, t uh, by the voters of the town. That's uh, correct. Via, um, town meeting. Um, well, now it's going to be ballot. So, that's what I meant. Um, so, as for, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not going to suggest that the, the, well, you can do it next week if you want, when Miles is here. If you want to go forward with it, but I don't think it should come up on the board. I think if people no, really if want to do away with the right tax, the, yeah. they can petition us. Yeah, I'm not. I agree. I, I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna suggest it. We've already done the other half of that uh, equation, um, a suggestion rather. And I'm okay with that, but I'm not. I, I don't want to recommend that we do it with the residents tax. So I'm gonna have it taken off the agenda. But I wanted to mention that it cannot be done through board. Uh, action has to be done via the voters on election day. So, uh, move that from the agenda. Tax rate setting reports are due. They certainly are. Um, so, we have in your folder there one of the pieces that we need to sign off on. The MS 535? 30, 535. Which is the, um, the financial report of the budget um, to the state. Um, our auditor does his audit, and we have to check and make sure that it was accurate. So we have done that now. We're ready to sign. is blessed by the auditors is what you're saying? Yes. Oh. This, is a, this is a letter that's going, I think it will take up afterwards, I guess. When we get to the folder, okay. I'll throw that out. <laughs> Still working on it. We are we're meeting. Um, and the final bill is not coming for the buses. Or? Well, I just signed some bills for busing. Oh. Thought this was all taken care of, and it's not. Um, okay. So um, Caroline has been working with D, and then Caroline D and I are meeting um, not this week, but next week on a Friday, okay. going over it, and um, and then D and I are working the following Tuesday to. Prepare the budget for 19. Okay. 
So that was my next question. Okay. Yeah. So it's on the it's on the the plate, and we're getting ready to do it. But I okay. thought for sure the bills would all be in by now, but they're not. Yeah. Okay. So I can't fault them for not having all the bills. In. Yeah. They haven't been sent to them. So I they're just it's just busing. But Caroline said tonight that that's that's she think that's it. So. Okay. And uh, it's not as bleak as it. She thinks it's not as bleak as we thought it would be, so that's good news. But I don't know what that dollar is yet. Okay, not as bleak, but bleak. Okay. Yeah. I'll stand by for that. Yeah. Yeah, stand All by. right, so uh, recreation snack refunds. Uh, are we coming along? Oh, how did we, what did we decide on? Did, oh, you know what? I have to, um, my, my bad. I, I need the, the to talk to D, reach out to, uh, D and Kelly. People. We're going to go and see if they wanted to donate to us two nights. 2019. Yeah. I will follow up on that one. I'm sorry, I didn't follow up on that. Um, we haven't done any reimbursements yet because we're still. Right. Yeah. Okay. So right. we may have to do a few of those. We will marginal. table both of those yep. then for now. All right. Filing plans for the planning board. So um, uh, we, this can come off. I just want to have heard back from Andrea. Uh, I let her know what the, the fee was going to be that we set not last week, the week before last week. We're here meeting, um, and she's accepted that, so we can take that off the okay. agenda, but just want to let everyone know. A response to correspondence from Attorney Roberts' office. Typically, we ask him for things, but he is our, our legal counsel. Yes, he his firm, mm -hmm. not necessarily Steve, but his firm represents um, one of the doctor's practices yeah. over off of Old Rollinsford Road over at the hospital, mm -hmm. and part of their building, actually not part of their building, the vacant space behind their building, uh, their practice, is in Rollinsford. Mm -hmm. So they get a tax bill for mm -hmm. the vacant land. Um, apparently, however, whoever set them up in assessing, whenever they set them up, I don't, it's been uh, several, at least several, not longer than that, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Steve, uh, whoever talks about it in the letter, mm -hmm. uh, didn't put it in as the, uh, the association, the, it's a condo, I guess, so there's mm -hmm. a building association, I don't know how many practices there are in there. Um, but apparently we've only been building one of them. So there's a urologist that gets the bill every year for this vacant lot behind the building that they all co-own. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why it was put in assessing that way, but that's how they put it in when they did it. So um, this one urologist doesn't think it's fair that he gets stuck paying a bill for the vacant lot, which is true, he's not fair. Um, yeah. It should be billed to the association. So we need to respond to Attorney Roberts' firm. I want to say that I don't remember who actually signed the letter. It was Steve or not. I don't think it was. But. Danielle. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, we should let them know that yes, we are we, um, we are um, looking into the issue. Um, we've received your letter. Thank you. We are looking into it um, uh, on how to set up an assessing to go to the entire association. So are we going to turn this over to Avatar? Yes, I would think so. So they figure out how it's going to be yes. taken care of so we can say that we're forwarding it over to our assessing people yes. and let them and come up with a plan and we will yeah. get back to them? Yes. Okay. So do you want me to write that note too? Please. Okay. <laughs> well, if it honestly, yes. Okay. Um, that's how it should have been done to begin with. I don't right. know why, like I said, I don't know why they got put in that way, but they did. So. Okay. I don't know if it was done on our end or if it was actually done by, at one time, uh, a lot of assessing information was put in via this office here. Mm -hmm. um, not all of it, but some of it, so some um, select board members put in information over the years. Okay. So, um, it's, some of it's getting cleaned up, so this might be one of the cases. I don't know, though. Or it could have been. Very well, could have been Avatar. Okay. We will have them work on it. But we need to let the attorneys know that we are working on it. All actions. Right? So I'm saying we turn over to Avatar to determine how it equally gets shared and then notify legal of actions. Okay? Yep, perfect. Alternative electric sources, uh, G, 
the water commissioners have, uh, let, well, at least one of them, has let me know that um, they are no longer uh, pursuing um, other rates because um, Eversource has lowered their rates to a um, competitive level. So they're going to just stick with them. Okay. And so, so we would consider doing what they were doing. And uh, I'm trying to think of who, I think it was Frank, um, has someone else at his home was trying to save and get a better rate for the, for the district. Mm -hmm. But Eversource now has lowered their rates to be competitive with this other firm. So um, they are not taking any action. So we can, uh, we can add this, though, to the charge of um, what I would like to see happen, uh, the reformation of the Energy Committee, if we want to. They can look into that. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's going to work at the time, but Eversource has divested fully now of all of their all of their um, their plants that, mm -hmm. that um, created energy, uh, produced energy rather. So they are fully divested now. Um, so the idea was when when that happened, rate payers wouldn't be on the hook paying for all the all the plants, right? All the mm -hmm. upgrades mm -hmm. that they required over the yeah. years. The legislature and the EPA required over the years. So that they've sold them all off. So they're buying on the open market like everybody else to make it cheaper. We'll see in the long run. I don't know. But um, so far it's working. That's a good thing. Um, so we'll hold off on that. And then there's this uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission Energy Aggregation Proposal. It's right here. Oh, is this it? Uh, seven points near the road. Oh, no, sorry. This is road service. Oh, that's the road service one. So they were, um, they were going to look and see about um, pooling uh, and buying um, much like we do with uh, propane or natural gas rather than oil, is it cost effective for a number of entities to pull together works out? I had to believe it's true it would probably be more cost effective to do it this way, but I don't know. They're going to try to figure it out. Whether or not they, we can save money by going together with um, other communities or um, other entities within the county. So they're looking to see if they can, they can get a proposal together. So I would think that would be also something that the Energy Committee, we could send to them to take a look at. Um, we don't have uh, under here. I thought we kind of added on, so we will, uh, after we get to uh, the transfer station post closure report, um, we'll have a, a new letter. We have a letter J. Um, and we'll talk about reinstituting the energy Okay. We'll get to it. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Um, my head is swimming from cold medicine still. I'm sorry. Uh, transfer station post closure report. Um, I don't think I'm waiting for anything else. I think it's all fully filled out. No, still sitting here. Then that's not the. I have my own. Is that not the same copy as the one I've been working on? I don't know. No. I don't think she must have given me a new clean copy. <coughs> I don't know. There are check marks. Or is it? Oh, that's not. Oh, that's budget. All right. Well. I've, I've have filled out a different one, so I'll bring it in tomorrow. I have it; it's all filled out. So. Okay, so this is. It has to be signed. Um, it's signed in the meeting, does it? No. Um, we'll signed by a notary. I think so. And that's what we just said in the bottom. No. By signing below, I affirm the material information submitted in this report is correct and complete to the best of my knowledge and belief that I am a person duly authorized to sign the. For, I, I'll just. It's already late. I'll be bringing it next week. It's done. Yep. So. Okay. She forwarded me the um, the PDF. I just printed it out. Okay. So uh, we're, we're good. Fine. So are you, are you going to sign it tomorrow? No, I'll just I'll do it next week. I'll, I'll do it in the meeting so we actually have the full report. It's already late, so there's no final associated with it. It's a plus. Uh, okay. Town administration standing items, board member activities, and updates. We have town elections, I mean, um, state primary election tomorrow. I will be here after work for the rest of the time. Alrighty, I will be here. Maybe we can uh, <laughs> email uh, email Mr. England and tell him that he's been appointed. <laughs> he has to be he here tomorrow. He can come in tomorrow <laughs> and get sworn in and he can say the girl did you. Um, uh, let's see, I have, I don't have my tape book with me. Um, I have two rec meetings. Mm -hmm.
think that's all. I think that's it. Well, the planning board met last week. Um, we did permission um, for, uh, conditional approval to um, an auto re um, inspection repair facility over on Silver Road. Um, it's operating there now, but they they were only doing uh, commercial vehicles associated with landscaping. Mm -hmm. that there. So he's now got, he's been several months now, he's been through the process he can do um, regular mm -hmm. private vehicles. So. What are we going to do about the letter we received <coughs> on, from Simmons Road Road? I think there's something in there. Isn't there something else in there? No. Okay. Um, I think we're going to talk about it at the end of the meeting and not public. It's a legal okay. issue. Okay. And a reputational issue, uh, potentially. But mostly a legal issue is okay. what I want to talk about. Thank you for the reminder. I didn't. I'm so out of it this morning. Sorry, I meant to have that added to the agenda as well. Okay. But we will at the very end. We're not going to do anything else. We're just going to go home after that. So, um, write it down so I don't forget again. But thank you for reminding me. It's going to be a non-public to deal with legal issue. Okay. You'll let it Thank you. <laughs> Theraflu is uh, a marvelous. Uh, So we were planning board met. Um, I don't think I did anything else last week besides my to do list. Um, letter of change, we don't mind going back. I think it's in our benefit, or the town's benefit to reinstitute the energy committee. Sure. Okay. Do you want to make that motion? I make a motion to oh, reinstate okay. the energy committee. All right, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we will have reinstate. It's a select board committee anyway, so it's just an advisory committee to select board, so it's not something that something we can create, although the ad hoc committees we can do. Um, so we will put out a general call. Okay. And we'll, we're going to appoint Celia Leopold to be the organizer. Is that, is that okay? Sure. Okay. And you, once you're on there, you can all decide who wants to actually lead you, but you have said you would be willing to, uh, to um, so we're going to send out an email asking people, so we don't, you don't have to reply again. You're on. You're going to be on. So, but once we get a critical mass, we will send you their name, you can organize a meeting. Okay, don't forget to have it posted and, and all that. So, you don't have to videotape it, but just post it so people know that it's happening. And work with Caroline for that. Um, all right, thank you. We'll go back. Thank you for that reminder. Building permits. All right, let's do this quickly. Well, the first thing we have is actually a certificate of occupancy. It is for single family home on 14 Wetmore Street. It was inspected by Mr. Clark, so a $50 fee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? We have to go back. What? Well, we have... Is that correspondences? Yeah, that's under oh, okay. the folder. Okay, okay. So we'll, we'll do that then. Right. I have another one. We have another certificate of occupancy, this time for 31 in Wentworth Street. Um, Mr. Clark, has you know, $50 fee. He's obviously reviewed it because he filled it out. One building permit tonight. Uh, 91 Toll Road. It's. Um, Where's Toll Road? Toll Road is what used to be. Um, the, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 087? Oh, yeah, 2018 087. Okay. It's. Um, they're doing some kitchen upgrading, so. Anyway, it's a two hundred fifteen dollar fee. I have to get how we're supposed to be doing this now, but it's just as easy for me to say what I just said. So, okay. so I can argue that again some of the time. <laughs> but I've already screwed it up, so for tonight.
motion for this for the, for the town clerk. It's a it's a budgeted expense for the dog licensing software. All right, a motion uh, motion to accept purchase order one five one nine interware development for the town clerk. One year software support for three hundred and sixty four dollars. Does she have a line for that? Yeah, second. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it is a I don't know if we understood that when we approved it the first time around, but I understand it now. So, where is it? about how we didn't think it was going to be an annual expense. Where it was. I know we... Do you want to hold off on it? No, right. I'm sure there's some place to put it. Yeah. No, it is something we've discussed in the past because, like I said, we weren't, we didn't know it was going to be an ongoing expense. We thought it was just a, a one off, but it's just to update the, the, the software issues. Okay. okay. All those in favor of purchase order 1519, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. What? It stays in this folder, right? There. Do you want these two? Uh, those, those. No, no, those, no, are, those, those are Caroline ones. This is oh, the town. Oh, oh, this oh. goes back to the town clerk. And she oh, okay. She wanted to do it, so. All right, we've got a uh, please sign and return these three applications reviewed by Chad. The applications and, and said they. Oh, Chad reviewed the applications and said they all qualified and entered the credit into the assessing for us. Okay, this is um, uh, veterans tax credits. Four, or it's not the regular one, it's the permanent one. Yeah, tax credit, veterans tax credit. So, I like these. Every year, this DD 14 came out was the best one because this one actually says in big, large print, honorable discharge. Have you sat through this process? You've sat mm -hmm. through this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. There's no consistency between the branches and, and the years of service. So some actually say it and some don't say it on it. Mm -hmm. it's, or some say it in slightly different ways. It's just, you've got to hunt for it. This one's just large print, so it's kind of nice. Just sign them all and pass it over. Just the way you're running. We have to all sign them? Yeah. Okay. in different spots. It's just frustrating to have to find, try to find it. So there's no consistency. And that's all we have for the rest of the Oh, we've got to go back. We've got to review this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll sign it up. We'll do this. Oh, you can. Sorry. Right. Right. Well, we'll just get this, this two thing in. I purchase order 1296, Green Shadow Property Maintenance, New Town and Old Town Cemetery Mowing and Trimming, 7th Mowing, for $1,345. All right, second. 
Uh, any discussion? Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There was uh, quite a discussion on I saw that. Uh, one of those things. I don't, I don't know why I, uh, I decided to respond. It was like, we have nothing to do with when the town cemetery gets plowed. I'm over mm -hmm. it. It's the cemetery trustees. So. All right. And then I have purchase order 1295. Sorry, I did not have order. Um, green shadow property maintenance. New town and old town cemetery mowing and trimming 6th. Mowing for one thousand three forty-five. I'll second that one. I should have noted on that one. Ah. You did the, the number seven mowing. Yeah. This was done on Mark filled it out on August thirtieth. Yeah. The stuff on Facebook was like two or three days before that. I think, so. <laughs> so, there's your answer, folks. Yeah. It hadn't just hadn't been done yet. I have just signed it. All those in favor? Purchase order one two nine five six five by saying aye. 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 Opposed. I need to go home. I have. We have this letter. Um, do you want me to read it? Oh, what it's. What it is. Oh, it's a non-compliance letter. Uh, there's not the driveway paving in the street. Oh, oh, yeah, they need it to be, um, okay, I'll read it. Um, it's from you. Okay, to, great. <laughs> to, to Bruce. Who am I it to? Bruce Moore, the right select right board has been appraised of the following activity on your property in Portland Avenue. Paving is quite likely that the above activity requires a building permit. Please contact Caroline Candle in order to review relevant building requirements and and to start the permitting process if necessary. Please note this driveway paving is on State Road, requires a permit from the State of New Hampshire Department of Transportation Division 6. Please submit approval for that application for your building permit. The consistent application of town regulations, particularly with regard to property values, provides the equity distribution of taxation to all property owners if the select like board's expressed wishes to be fair, equal, and consistent in such manners. Michael Barlow. So it's the one on Route 4, if I... Yeah, no, I know. I'm, 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 They've been I'm, doing some work over there. And he has a building permit for that, so I want to make sure that... But he needs a state, a permission one. For To pay uh, his driveway, right. yes. Yeah. I just... Well, she right must, now she must have, have looked to see if we have... Yeah, right now there it. isn't any paving done, but they're preparing for it, it looks like. She must have... Um, she must have... Been. I'm going to sign it, um, but uh, we'll put a sticky note on it. To see Mike before you send it out, because I okay. want to ask her to make. I want to double check because Mr. Morbridge has has a um, uh, building permit. If I remember it, um, so and he had. Um, Just wondering about the permit. I mean, the property address. It's the one it's on right Portland across Alexander. Doesn't have a number yet. Oh. So it's does it say Portland Ave. Map three, lots twenty four and twenty four one. Uh, yeah, you went signing it on there. Thank you. Um, I just before we send a letter to someone, I want to make sure we actually. I'm sure she already has, but this one just gives me a pause because I remember we got so many, we. We, we got several emails from the state um, regarding um, a permit that they've issued over the mm -hmm. last six months. There was a couple on Silver. There was that new construction down on Silver at the other end down there. And I thought there was one on Portland, but it might, it might not be this one. I just want to make sure. I don't want to send a letter to someone. Yep. We don't need to. So. Okay. So then I have uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission to you. Um, please submit the Proposal to update the road service management system inventory analysis for the town of Rollinsford. Mm -hmm. This effort is to update the 2016 RSMS inventory and report for local class V roads, or five roads, right? Mm -hmm. Any data collection will be performed by the town during the standard field season prior to mid-October. The following summarizes the tasks and associated costs of conducting this work where phase one is the inventory update process and phase two is the analysis of the scenario report. 
it lists the pro and it says the total cost to the town is one thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah, this was the um, I haven't read this letter. Um, actually, it emailed it to us as well. Um, we call back um, before Suzanne uh, left the board. She was actually, I think it was the week she was leaving the board. She was meeting with the folks from Stratford Regional to um, to work on um, uh, the rate setting for, for the upgrades to the um, road maintenance. Um, and Stratford Regional wanted to have their staff at, at a considerable cost, really, to the town uh, do the evaluation of the roads. Mm -hmm. And um, George feels that he can do it himself mm -hmm. and, and do the um, work on the, um, uh, the uh, what I was going to say, sorry, evaluation of, of the roads and then um, the report back. So we don't need to, to, to be charged uh, by um, the nice folks at Stratford Regional for that. But there are other, um, um, there is other work that, um, would be associated with um, updating the file. So there's uh, the Excel file uh, generation. Um, the, that's a forty dollar cost. Uh, Rollinsford Town officials will assess the pavement conditions and send data back to SRPC. There's no cost to the, to the town for that, as far as this goes. Mm -hmm. um, quality assurance, quality control, collected data. There's four hours associated with that. $60. Analysis of data and generation of preliminary pavement management scenarios. That is six hours of that at 240. How to get to 1400. Uh, working meeting to review scenarios with uh, Rollinsford officials. Um, I think it's been nine hours. I have to do that to meet with us. Uh, final review of pavement management scenarios. Another six hours. A meeting with municipalities to review draft. RSMS findings, another six hours, and the completion of final RSMS report and delivery of final product to the town. Also, I think that will be about nine hours. So for a subtotal of 41 hours, um, it could be $1,400. Any other questions? So, so this is already approved, or is this something we have to approve? We would need to approve. So. Okay. Just read the entire letter. Dear Mr. Roll of the Stratford Regional Planning Commission, is pleased to submit a proposal to update the road surface management system inventory and analysis for the town of Rollinsford. Uh, this effort will update the 2016 RSMS inventory and report for local class six. Did you already read this? And I'm just forgetting. I did. You just read it? I already read it. Sorry. And I said therefore, it was wonderful. Um, uh, so this is um, this is the bare minimum because um, we're going to perform. I shouldn't say that. There is quite a bit of work here, but we're doing the actual the assessing of the roads and the conditions and sending that data back. And that would have been where it would have been multiple thousands of dollars. It would have cost us, as I recall, um, Suzanne's assessment. Um, I was. I think we should go. We should go forward with it. It's important to keep the uh, the assessment of our roads up to date, and uh, eventually we'll keep. Um, overall cost down. I would imagine that we have a, an actual assessment mm -hmm. and, and road map, if you will, of keeping the roads in good condition. So, which also then helps us to prioritize which roads, you know. We have this wonderful program now, thanks to Stratford Regional, which we base our assessments on, right? Um, this is just the next phase of that. Mm -hmm. So, I would suggest we go along with it. And we, we enter in with Stratford Regional. We can wait until next week if we want to discuss it with Miles. So, what well, we can do it now. To find do we have money in the budget? Yeah, I believe we do. I believe we do. But why don't we yeah. post a note and we will, I will go over this will be one of my to do things with Caroline tomorrow. So what do you want me to know what to say? Um, where would this come out of, the, uh, out of the, is it this year's budget or next year's budget? This year's budget, clearly, but where are we coming with this year's budget, I guess, sorry. in there. 
Nope. Well, I have two pieces of paper. Fading fast there. I'm sorry. Just this is just a frontline supervisor. It's just a um, website for a course. And then this is a public hearing notice for Health Trust on September 27th in Guilford and Concord to hold the phone. Rate setting, rate setting and surplus interest? returns of health trust coverage. Yeah. I think that I'm uh, not health trust. What am I going to on Friday? I'm going to uh, the Municipal Association's Legislative Policy Conference. That's what I'm going to. Remember, we, they, what, we had access in a proxy where one of us had to go and vote on whether or not we were going to support certain things. So, yeah, that's Friday. That's Friday. I should have added that to my list of things I'm doing this weekend. There you go. <laughs> Anything That's else? it. All right. Any other? Uh... Destroy. Oh, sure. Talk. Yeah. I'll put it in a circular file. Community <laughs> input. That's what I was looking for. Sorry. Um, with the change on the corner of Church and um, Jesse Doe, I know C and J has gone through the planning board. Will this affect their plans? Do we know if that'll con make the intersection a little bit more congested? With the buses coming in and out of that triangle there? I don't think so because the, the stop, the way I understand it, the stop sign is going to be facing the church. So if you were coming. There's going to be stop signs on each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. It's not that, changing the pattern. Right, so there shouldn't be a, right, so there shouldn't be a, it's right, there is a stop sign on the other side. There, yeah. yeah. So that shouldn't be, it's more of it's the folks be coming safer. up church uh, from Main Street. So. They'll still continue to have the right of way because there won't be a stop sign there. Right. So I don't think, if, if anything, I think it's just going to make it safer. I don't think it'll be more congested. I don't think it'll affect C and J at but, all because they already have a stop sign that they have to stop at. They but when they're but when they're coming, but when their buses are coming, and they're building a new bus barn right on that corner. Yeah, but that mm, that the cleaning place, or where yeah. they put them and store them. There's not going to be more buses. They're just right. they're going to be stored. Okay. They're going to. Is that stored it's, or cleaning? It, I thought it was a cleaning that and keeping cleaning. them there at night once right. they've been washed and cleaned. Right. So, so it's, it's not yeah, more additional it's not buses. More, it's um, is my understanding. Yeah, you're right. It, there's not additional buses. It's just, um, yeah. if anything, I think this stops and actually help quite a bit because mm -hmm. um, if the bus is coming up from under the up church street from the underpass from Main, they'll have to stop there. And if there's someone coming, you know, up church street, head towards Jesse Dell or or taking a right towards the other end of Church Street. They uh, don't have to deal with an incoming bus. You know, yeah, I think them, it would be safer know. for them when they're coming back home, the buses, mm. that you have two, two stops. In my mind, it's a win-win yeah, for, so. for both per, uh, for pedestrians, for bus traffic, and for regular motor vehicle. But time will tell, I guess. You look at the some point, this week. may be for the Highway Safety Committee to look at the parking, on-street parking that happens when the church has big holidays, because you have parking all down Church Street and on to Jesse on Bill Wrights. Sometimes when there's a big event like Easter or Christmas, it's on both sides of the road. Hmm. So that's something probably to be addressed by the Highway Safety mm -hmm. Committee mm -hmm. versus here. And the chief of police spoke about the railway shutting down. Mm -hmm. When the town gets word of that, is a notice going out to the public? Oh, yeah. Oh, to. definitely. Most okay. definitely. It will be posted uh, all the usual places, like mm -hmm. online and um, um, here. And, you know, there's a few places, the library here and the post office. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Well, should have gone in now. Oh, that's right. I was soon I forget. I was hoping we were going home. All right. Uh, Denise moves that we go into non public session to do the legal issue. Mike seconds. Denise? Yes. Mike, yes. Uh, we are in non public session to do the legal issue. And then we're going right home, trust me. I'm not.